Uh, cool. And also Google Plus. Google Plus has been doing. I was talking about some of the changes. Do you guys? Do you got the uh, you know the plus one for photos seemed pretty obvious, but uh, you know the YouTube button we knew was coming. You guys using the YouTube button at all instead of going to YouTube? Are you guys rocking that button and finding music and, and other videos or not really yet? I find it very useful. A lot better than the YouTube button than the Hangout. Yeah, definitely. It's nice to be able to share a playlist in your stream. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And like you can easily you keep more things get shared more and more. I think. The more they put stuff in YouTube and Blogger and whatever they put in to share things easily to our stream. Um, yeah, and it's amazing. We were talking about this earlier with Nathan that now it seems like they're on a Google Plus is on a full drive to release feature after feature every single week. It seems like they're on a nonstop ride to uh, to Disney World with the amount of features that we're going to see. Um, do you think it could get it's going to get overwhelming, or do you think it's just awesome? The amount of features. Is it too much to handle for one person? Do you Probably think it's both? What? They both, right? It's overwhelming and awesome at the same time. Yeah. 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 Four hundred pictures. You kind of, I kind of wonder, like, which ones are they going to perfect though that are going to yeah. be the key, the key ones, and then you know, a lot of these other things are cool for certain niche groups, but it seems like if they're going to reach a wider audience, they need to really perfect the ones that are most important to people. That's true. It's hard then, to figure not, that out, right? I mean, I like. I still don't like the interface for adding people to circles and things like that. That I feel like if they put more effort into things like that, you get bigger bang for your buck than trying to, you know, add new little whiz bangs to the homepage. Fair. That's a fair statement. Do you think that if someone was to come to Google Plus now, it would be, it would be it's more crazy than it was even before with the amount of stuff that's like to see and check out. Kind of. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Although Facebook's pretty busy, but someone coming to Facebook for the first time might think it's pretty busy, especially now. So, oh, but Facebook now, I don't even understand what's going on because they changed it all. So that's a whole other story. Yeah. I mean, that's I the problem when, when you decide you're going to try to make changes to it. Yeah. Cool. Anything else? Anybody else talk about any other issue? Anyone have any dirty laundry or clean laundry to air or grievances? Or <laughs> I know the block. <laughs> Liking the block feature. The block, well, are you guys oh. even are you using it? The block feature? Have you used it? Anybody? I haven't yeah. used it. You said you did. No. No. Yeah. So. Bobby. Bobby just said to use it moderately and don't abuse it. So I'm listening to her. Right. Well, it doesn't really make sense to use it unless somebody's bothering you. I mean, I know people like toys. They're like, oh, that's a new right. feature. But but if it's a feature that doesn't make sense to use, I mean, but you know, people want to see how right. things work. I still, right. think there, I still think there needs to be more clear hangout etiquette somewhere. Like one of my pet peeves is people who don't share video even though they can. And it hey. just feels, it feels like you're depriving other people of, you know, your full participation. Chris, yeah, you well, yeah, you really can't, you really can't like impose a hangout etiquette on people. I mean, you can say, you know, how you want people to treat you. It's, it's the basic rule. Treat people the way you want to be treated. But you're not going to get that because human nature, you know, with people, exactly. you know, there's it's always, always going to be an animal in there and there's always going to be someone that's not going to but in my experience, the way you want them. But in so, my experience, it's the people that are secretive like that that you don't want in the Hangout. Because and, that's, and that's what this new shun feature or block yeah. feature is for. It works perfectly. There was some guy came in today that was all nips and, you know, we tossed him out. Everybody, everybody Bobby, you brought up a good point where, like, okay, so you block them, and if you block them in a Hangout, you also block them in Google Plus. Yeah. But you can unblock them if you had them in a circle previously, but if you did not have them in a circle previously, there's no right. way to unblock that's why, them. That's why what I did the other day was I was telling people that if you find that someone's becoming abusive or rude or argumentative or just playing loud music and not caring what anybody thinks, or just like hijacking the chat, you know, take the moment to really decide, is this person worth blocking? And if they are, have yourself a troll circle in advance, put them in it, and then block them. And then that way you can unblock them if they decide later they're going to behave. But there's a, there's a difference between a troll, trolls and, you know, a-holes, you know. Okay, make an a-hole circle then. <laughs> yeah. 
because obviously I do my share of trolling, you know, and I don't want to be stuck in a in a troll circle that's going to be you know blocked by a bunch of people because you know I also do a lot of stuff that's you know normal. Because you're a trap setting troll, that's why. We're <laughs> 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 He's a trap setting troll. Hey, bye, bye, Rob. Yeah, no, no. A trap setting troll. Trap. Yeah, I just told you to, to be warned. I'm a trap sure. setting troll. No, but he does try to set trends too. I mean. And that's another. That's the thing about Google Plus is that it seems like anybody, and this might this isn't a great Boober Day or anything else, but it, that it says to me because I don't. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying it seems like almost anyone can create some kind of like experience or meme or something that goes around. I mean, if you have enough people doing right. it, or, it seems like it seems like stuff stuff comes and goes pretty quickly. You know, it's like the word quit thing went like you guys went ape ape to ape shit on that. It was like it was like everyone was yeah, that was awesome. Thing. So, yeah, I think that was, that was our best creation. We're good, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, Booberty was, was fun, but... It, I, it, it, I it say work uh, quit in real-life context now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he runs away. Do you, do you have to run away? Like, seriously, if I'm at work and stuff is going bad, I'm like, screw it, I work quit. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. But no, we we, yeah, we know what work quit is. Speaking of work quit, hey, fan events. No, I mean, nobody in real life, though. Nobody, oh. Yes, yeah, so I'm eating pizza, guys. I'm eating my dinner. I'm eating out first. Right. That's so hot, Raleigh. Uh-oh. That's hot. Yeah, uh, it's pretty funny what's going on. Hey, you're all on Conversations Plus, the show after Hangout Conversations. We just had the band The New. We're talking to all of you about Google Plus. Uh, speaking of work quit, Bobby Joe has that little uh, image to go along with work quitting. Benavance is eating too. Chopsticks? Or is that your Karate Kid impression? Oh, I'm catching flaws. Oh, you really? You got a haircut too. Look at that. Watch out. Yeah, I did. <laughs> what if you catch a fly? It's like good luck, right? That's what Mr. Miyagi taught me. Something like that. Oh, it's the yeah. pebble. If you, catch, if you can snatch the pebble, it's not good. So, so John, are you? I never. That's the first time I've called you John. So, John, <laughs> do you use the? Have you used the blocking feature yet, at all? I've never. I, I've not actually used it yet. Is there someone in here I can block? I'll be back. No, we were just discussing new features on G Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen it used, but I've not used it myself. And I think it's the absolute right solution to, to a quite difficult problem. So I'm glad yeah, it. Yeah, I do too. I agree. I think so too. More, more importantly, nobody's blocked you yet, John? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> no. Nobody's got the balls. <laughs> right now. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come at me, <laughs> bro. The challenge. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I, I can. Block. Especially since you and Steve Ward are all buddies now. What? When oh, did this God. happen? What? Drama? Yeah, Steve Ward. Look, you know what? Deck down. Steve Ward is a guy. <laughs> he is a guy. Yes. <laughs> he is a guy. Yes, That's he true. is a guy. You are about, so right. I was confused about that point until now. Your <laughs> powers of observation are just astounding. It's seriously. Hey, you, so Mike Stoll, have you drawn? Have you drawn a Ward quit image yet, or that's not your kind of art? I have not. That's that would be something. That would be something. Probably better not do that. But well, you'll definitely get attention. Yeah, do it, man. <laughs> you know you want the attention. <laughs> probably, probably from Steve Ward mostly. And he has the most. He has a ridiculous amount of followers, right? So there you go. I heard they put him back. Douche canoe. That's because he's a man. It's true. That he's a douche canoe. Yeah. All right. Douche. Women, women, can women be douche canoes or no? No. Oh, certainly. Yeah, they may want to take a ride on the douche canoe, though. Uh-oh. There's, once you get on that ride, there's no fucking coming out of that shit. Watch out. Whoa. That's right. Danger. Danger. Wow, how many of those do you have? Bobby, should I even ask? So what else, is hap what else is happening on G Plus? Is there anything else happening? The Plus one of photos, no big deal. YouTube button we talked about. Uh, Google it, TV, actually. There's what uh, the guy TV? from the uh, we Google had, TV we had, um, Hangouts. The, the, the DJ yeah. guy, um, Paul Oakenfold. What did he do? What was he talking about? He was, he was uh, doing crashes like Perry. It's like um, Perry uh, yeah, he was promoting yeah. something. He was touring himself. He really didn't, not in our hangout, oh, okay. but yeah, in other hangouts. 
promoting his, his uh, new CD. So what do you guys think about that? You think that's cool that these celebrities are coming on for the one day to drop in to promote their stuff, or do you think that's a little cheesy? It was well. I mean, it depends on depends on the celebrities. If celebrities are just in, you know, pushing the product, then it's kind of cheesy. But if they're in there just hanging out and answering questions and coming back, like he came back four times in our hangout, that's cool. And actually, you know, chatted with us until the Google guy said, "Oh, he has to go." You know, but he wasn't ready to go. It cut him off. So I mean, that was really cool. He was really down to earth. He answered all the questions and. Everyone got everyone got to talk to him, and that made a big difference. Yeah, I think it depends on yeah. how these people see themselves, right? If some people see themselves as like, like the Tom Cruises of the world, or, or whatever, versus somebody that's right. down to earth. But uh, yeah, cool. All right, I don't know what else is going on. I, what about the the thing with the hangouts, the the whole the whole uh, the whole dynamic of hangouts and. Have you seen? Have you guys seen a change, or it's basically still the same? You guys meeting a lot of new people, or do you feel like it's still kind of like the same hangout crowd that's surf that's resurfacing? And... No, it's, we still have the same crowd, of course, but there's a lot of new people that are really jumping into yeah. it now, especially during the day, man. There's a ton of new people during the day. I know, yeah. and I, I'm like working, and I'm getting all these pop ups while I'm in my yeah, because email. those those people are staying and they sleep at night. We don't, so that's the, yeah. <laughs> that's the crazy. That's what it is. Like, you know, I've, act, I've actually circled a few, and I cool. thought of, you know, I mean, so. Yeah, I noticed that yeah. she, she's been hanging out a lot more, too, lately. Yeah, she's been doing a lot of hangouts. Yeah, probably to see what I think working. it's pretty cool. Do you think what, Mike? He thinks it's pretty, I think cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But she's hanging out. Well, I yeah, think it's awesome. cool, and it's cool that he does so many hangouts. Well, he wants to see his product well, work too. He wants to see how people are using it in for himself, which is part of it. So, the next time I'm in a hangout with Chi, I'm going to block him straight away. <laughs> I've, I've, I've told him I'm going to do it too. Once you block Chi, there's no coming back. Oh. Well, he might ward quit me. He might ward quit you. you. Know, I don't know. He might have put it. He might have built in a special little feature that if you block him, you go into like some black hole or something. So. <laughs> Your yeah. computer blows up, right? Exactly. All, you are removed from everyone's circles, and all of your posts are deleted. As soon as you block Chi, it'll say, like, you are no longer part of this community, you a-hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, lost, you lost all your yeah. Google Plus at privileges. Yeah. That'd be funny. Oh, man. But it is fantastic to see more people in Hangouts and more people engaging in Hangouts, I yeah. think. And some people are becoming regulars now. Like, there's us who are the regulars, obviously, and then there's this whole new batch of regulars who are coming in. Oh, yeah. It's not. Yeah. Parkinson, I don't think sleeps at all. But what do you what do you think about that idea, uh, Matt? That Hangouts maybe be separated in a way from Google Plus, if if you want to. Yeah, I think that that's an interesting idea. That maybe more people would hang out if they don't have to go through like being a Google Plus member. If they just can hang out from their Gmail and it's related yeah. to Google account, that would get oh, more people. Yeah. No, Chris, you're saying no. no. You don't think so? Because no. then there's a chat room. Really it's a good concept, man, but then, you know, it's going to mix with just random people and it's just going to yeah. become a freaking. Well, but who, but, but when you say random, I mean, isn't it? I mean, it kind of, we all met each other randomly, didn't we? Right. Yeah, right. We're, we're, yeah. We're, all, we're all part of this community here. Yeah. You know, then you're going to get people that are outside of the community coming in just to cause crap. Yeah, uh, but I, I'm more interested in including people that don't want to just necessarily have another whole social network. They just want to use it as a tool. Well, the phone-ins will be interesting when they go public, and you'll be able to dial into a hangout. Oh, That'd be really that interesting. That phone, that phone. Yeah, I think it's stupid too. I actually, see, I think the phone is good for business. I think that the, it's interesting. The uh, yeah, it's almost necessary. And for, it's also, it, it is cool. If, let's say you want to like. Somebody doesn't want to hang out yet that you met on Google Plus, but you're doing business or networking with them. It's you could have you could have a conference going on with that, which is interesting, mm -hmm. you know. So there are uses for it. Maybe not for a social. Yeah. Okay. Those kinds of but things. everyone everyone's using it right now to pull a Mike Murata. Well, I mean, and people might use it, but they'll stop doing that if it costs. They'll stop doing that if it costs them money. I don't know if they'll if they'll right. charge for that, but yeah, but there's no charge right now. Not right now. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. What are there? So, so are there any other features that are that are going around that you think are going to be really cool, really useful? Well, they're talking about they want to do uh, Google Hangouts or Hangouts in Google TV to be able to do it from your TV with. Uh, That'd be cool. How would that yeah. work? 
but it, it's something that they really want to do. I dropped the link a little bit earlier. It's something they want to do, but it's not going to happen for a little while. But they showed uh, that's a little crazy. The team showed excitement for it. So are you, say, are you saying that you can broadcast yourself on Google TV, your Hangout? Anyone that has Google TV? Yeah. Do, well, I don't, I don't, cool. I don't, yeah, I guess you could do it. I haven't tried it yet. Don't, don't you mean more joining a Hangout? Yeah, I think that's what they said. I dropped the link there. I haven't li I haven't listened to the whole uh, to the whole video there. But there was an article on this uh, website called gnarled.com. <clears throat> they had some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, we were talking about earlier about the fact that you know instead of having to use live stream, if people could just use Google and broadcast, and it's coming, I think. But I don't think they want to give everybody YouTube live accounts, so maybe they need to make something separate, like a separate Hangout channel. Someone mentioned. And then from there, you could upload it to YouTube if you want to broadcast live that way. But I don't know. What do you guys think about the, you don't think, I don't think everyone's going to get the YouTube live button. That would be chaos if everybody had a YouTube live. Account. Yeah, that would be, that would be insane. Yeah. The bandwidth. No. And, you know? Yeah. I don't see the point for the regular, just the average person like me right. to have that feature. You know, I guess. I don't see, I don't see the point of broadcasting hangouts generally. Right. Live anyway. It depends on your, yeah. own. Right. nobody watches them. Yeah, very few people. I only watch them when I'm in them. That's it. Right. Yeah. I don't even join them if I know that they're going to be broadcasted. <laughs> such a liar. <laughs> yeah. such no, a liar. I mean, if they just had a Hangout channel that basically you could see what are the most popular Hangouts going on or whatever. Everybody is working on a fucking Hangout show channel. Everybody is right now. Like everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that it doesn't need to be somebody. It should just be YouTube or whatever. Yeah, but you should so easily make oh, a hangout channel. I meant, when I said everybody, I meant like other G plus users. There's a lot of buzz going around, people starting projects and networks and things. Right, but I just think it's going to get splinter if it's just individual people's sites. It needs to be part of Google. Yeah. Google won't do it. Yeah, they should have a hangout network or something. Or like yeah, but Google doesn't want to be re held responsible for the content. But they, but like they, like they have it with YouTube sometimes. Even they yeah, they want to have hands off, right. like. They want everybody to hang out, but they don't want to say, oh, come hang out with so-and-so, and then everybody like, oh, yeah. they crashed my computer with their hangout, or that person was mean to me, or whatever. It would be pretty easy to start a hangout channel. It wouldn't take much at all. The only difference would be getting people into your hangouts all the time, but that's not hard either. Once your circles are big enough. Yeah, and I, that's why I don't, think, I don't think it makes sense to have hangout after hangout after hangout. I think what I'm trying to do is once a week have a guest and make it so it's not like all the time, you know, and then it's, it's on YouTube and people want to watch it and see what a hangout's like. And, you know, this, this is more, what we're, this, this show is more like a hangout, what we're doing now. It's a little more organized, but still, you know, we're kind of, I mean, we're just being, we're not just being, you know, we say the F word, we say who said that. I mean, it's not that much different than a regular hangout. So You mean probably. fan of Vans? <laughs> That's the meaning using that word. I'm a, I'm a, fan, I'm a, fan, I'm a fan of his. Fan of I thought you were going to start rapping there for a minute, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, no, I'm a, I'm, I'm a chameleon. What? Wow. You're a chameleon, I'm a chameleon. Uh, I just wish everyone, I mean, I, it, we're, there's going to be disputes, there's going to be personalities, there's going to be drama, but at the end of the day, I don't see why we can't all just get along. I mean, with even with our differences, yeah. I mean that's yeah. that's something I'm thinking. Like, it's not life is short, and like people make drama out of so much. And I think people there there is a lot of people that are naive when it comes to the internet and that are hanging out. And it's, that's interesting right. to me. Do you think uh, people? It's weird that people are so kind of naive about what could happen in a hangout and and uh, the different people. I do. I think people are totally naive about because they, they just. I mean, until you've been in one, you really don't have any concept of what it's going to be like, Yeah. you know, doing a one-on-one ah. -on -one chat, video chat with a stranger. Yeah. Well, one-on-one -on -one definitely, could definitely be more troublesome for someone versus a group. But, uh, you know, hang out. I'm surprised they don't have hangout buddies yet, right? Hey, get a hangout right. buddy. It's like, uh, I, think it's, I think it's testimony to how intimate and how well these hangouts are done. People come in here and it's so close to being in really in somebody's presence that they forget that there's this whole medium of the internet between them that can be taped and recorded and shared and you know. It's pretty crazy. 
I mean, I think we just have and to watch that's people. The I mean, it's good to watch out for other people. I just think that makes sense. I mean, I don't think anybody... Because, you know, when we all first got on here, we didn't necessarily know what was going on. So, and sure, not everybody is, is all there. I mean, we're not all, all there, but, you know, some are further gone than others. Oh, appreciate that. <laughs> well, my first, my first hangout was the uh, drunk John Fanavans. <laughs> was that, uh, you, well. you, you popped your hangout cherry that way, huh? That was my you hangout. Started up with the... You were so no, sloshed that night. You got, hitting us. you got a bang. You were, just let you, you know, just let you know, this is being recorded and live streamed. What is that? <laughs> I deny everything. Yeah. <laughs> Stacey Fraser was there, and you were just making uh, Google to her. <laughs> Can you blame oh, her? Oh, Stacey's a doll. Stacey's a doll. I have not seen yeah. an event, you know, inebriated in a long time. When was it? Memories. Months ago. Hey, so what do you yeah. think about hurling? Now I see Bobby Joe's picture. She's got the Cam Meadows sleep, and Lucas is scary, scarily wearing his cowboy hat, and Muhammad looks like he just had another Red Bull. So that looks I like very it. romantic. Yeah, it looks like the. He looks like the devil. Had a well, I, some people think <laughs> think he is. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, Muhammad had like one Coca Cola without diet, and he was like on top of all. Cam wants to know what happens when you mix Budweiser and Red Bull. <laughs> you get a crappier drink. Spewing. And the entire last three days have been the answer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you end up in bed with two other men you met off the internet. Uh -oh. <laughs> I haven't seen too many girls in, the, uh, in these pictures. Oh my god. Yeah, you won't. Mo's doing another photobomb in that picture. <laughs> it's like when you photobomb away. Mo Mo's fingers is, is, looks like it's up Lucas's bum there, and that's why Lucas has got that look on his face. Mo? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, it ain't me. Hey, cool. <laughs> hey, Nathan, good joining us. Thank you for uh, being part of the show and watching. Take it easy. Have a good one. You got it. Bye, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Thanks for joining See us. Bye, all. Later, See you, mate. Nathan. That was Lieutenant Nathan Weinberg. Lieutenant? He's like, that was just, that's, the name, that's the name of a character in A, in a Few Good Men. Uh, one of the, uh, or jo maybe uh, yes. Joseph Weinberg, I don't know, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> wow. Speaking I of never aliens. Realized, never realized Mo was so receded. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Hangout confessions. He's bold for a young man, isn't he? <laughs> I think I should stop, I should hit stop on my recording soon, but. <laughs> that the, you said you were going to snowball, now spit it out, is the caption for that. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, you can see shit in his mouth, too. Gross. Yeah. Uh, so whose reputation is damaged most by these pictures? Bobby <laughs> Joe's. Bobby Joe's. Bobby Joe's. Bobby Joe's. Bobby Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the other guy? Really? Now? That's Justin. Justin Armand. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Look like Actually, that. Mo looks wow, pretty Mo, good with the Mo cowboy. Mo rocking that cowboy. cowboy. Yeah, he does. Right? Put some boots on him, man. Maybe he can get some. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy caressing Cam with his feet? BJ, you can uh, hide it off. That's all right. That's all right. What? Justin's caressing him with his feet. He, he's, he's, his feet are like a foot away. It's just the angle of his love seat that he's sitting in or whatever. That's where the laptop is. is. Does it mean, or does it look like Cam has like some kind of long mullet in the back? Yeah, it does, no, doesn't he's, it? He's, he does have a little bit of a length. You can see it here. But it's... It's not that oh, okay. It was a shadow. All right. What kind of hotel? It looks like they're in a. I think you should cut his hair shorter, but that's just my preference. Yeah. He I don't. Where's the cowboy hat all the time? Anyway, what's the difference? No, I'm I'm the Muhammad stalker. No, <laughs> only you. No. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Here's the salmon or happy time lotion. What? Hey, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I have happy time lotion. I like to use happy time, guys. I like to uh, use it. Astro Glide does not count. I skipped that. So are there any, is there anybody that takes over Hangouts that you guys want to air grievances on the air right now? That you you just think, geez, guy, why can't that person or this person just uh, just see what's going on? Like you took the Bobby and... Joe. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, dude. What? Cool. Got it. So we're just oh, saying. And Samantha that was a war quit. What? Talks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and we love you, Sam. 
if you see yeah, this. Yeah, we love you. I, I think it's a matter of, you could talk a lot. It's just a matter of what you're actually saying. You know, it's like if you're talking and the whole thing's like, oh, I really like so-and-so and I like this and I'm that and, and you know, or, or, hey, guys, can you help me with my website? Can you help me with my website? You know, that gets old after like two seconds. So yeah. like, I think it's just a matter of feeling out the room and a lot of people don't do that. Um, a lot of people think they're pros at it too, so. I'm no good at it. <laughs> who's, who said that? Seriously. <laughs> is Ty is Ty there or he's passed out and playing a video game? Dude, I've I've said like several different things and no one has responded to me, so I just was like, uh, okay, wait, back to hear, homework. I didn't hear you say <laughs> it. Must, it must be your mic or something. I don't yeah. know. Did it, I Can you it? I've been talking. I was like I was like um when you said uh I like the F word and someone was like fan events, I was like, No, I think he means the word fuck. <laughs> And no one said anything. Wait, so I like, oh, I've never heard you. Really? You yeah. I've been That's talking funny. this entire time. It's just like no one said anything. So I was just like, oh. Does anyone else like the fact that he that fan events quit right after you said that? That was that was interesting. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean to make him quit. No, but Lyra quit and Raleigh quit, and there's you know that's what we're talking like their group. I don't. I'm not looking at the canopy, so I don't know what the deal is, but it's all good. It's all good. The new left, I think we should wrap up, at least the recording part, and we can hang out right after, but... Okay. No, I, I hear you. We'll see how many people use the block feature. Hey, Jeff, we're just wrapping up the Conversations Plus. Live should be recording. You got, the, you got the full facial hair almost going there. That's pretty cool. You know. Oh, I use the block feature a lot. I have a lot of people blocked. I have over 25 people blocked. Yeah, but you didn't necessarily block them all from the Hangout. You blocked them immediately, right? No, I blocked people from in while in the Hangout. I blocked people. But not using the new block feature, right? Oh, yes. Yes? All right. Yes. How many of the 25 would you say, because this thing's only out a day or something? How 15. It's only been out a day. What the crap? 15. <laughs> 15. 15. Sounds like you're behind on life right now. <laughs> no, dude. It's just, I mean, this, you, you also got to understand, a lot of times I join right. hangouts while I'm at work. Right. So it's like, you know, you're trying to make me rage. I can't really right. rage being a TA. If the students see me angry, it makes me look weak. So I just block them and go on about my business. You know, the interesting about you, though, Ty, is that a lot of people that are new to Hangouts or, or you know, that haven't hung out with you, you do do animated GIFs and pictures and stuff more than you do your own face. And I actually hung out and, with you. And, when you, and, and, you, you know, and you know what? And a lot of the times that I do do animated GIFs and pictures is because I'm either, I'm either doing homework or I'm working. And I mean, sometimes like late at night, if, like Bobby Joe's saying, a couple times late at night, if I'm at home and I don't mind, I'll get on camera. Yeah. It just depends on the situation. Like now, I would I would get on camera, but I'm sick, no, so cool. I, I really can't. No, that's cool. Uh, but I'm just saying that that kind of environment of those people that come in and have that. You're not the only one that has that. A few people do that, I think. Um, you know, and do different things, or they they don't go on camera. And, you know, people who are talking about the getting annoyed about people that don't go on camera and that they should be able you know, but Spanaman said, like you can't force people to do stuff. You know. So we'll see what happens. And I see the Terminator has arrived. Alright. With that, it was a good show. We had a good show. Let me wrap up. Thank you, Bobby Joe. You're awesome as always. Thank you, the new, for joining us earlier in the show and for being on the show. Jeff Norris is a late Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator drop in. Jerry, thank you for your questions. You did the top up. And we're going to actually have Joe Foley next week, and he's a, a, he's a expert on saying that line. That's what we're going to have him. That's what, he, that's what he does. He says that line. Yeah, he, he does like Arnold on 10. He's a little exaggerated. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. the job off. Yeah, I'm sorry. He makes the faces, too. <laughs> Mike Searle. Mike Searle, I can't, you know, I can't wait to have you on your own show. You'll, you'll get your own show. Yeah. Although you did do you did do a nice chunk with Byron's, but we'll get we'll get some yeah, more that was good. inside details maybe as we get closer. Yeah. Uh, and Vargas, thank you for actually walking your dog and, and your dog not peeing all over the place. So that was that was a good thing. Yeah, well, thank <laughs> you for that. I I appreciate that. How's much. your dog doing? Your dog's good. He's great. He's asleep. He took his shit and now he's asleep. All so. right, I was gonna say lick his licking balls, but shit is good. Right. That works. Yeah. Same difference. First day. Tell him to go fuck a goat, Matt. Uh, go fuck a goat. Uh, Ty says to go F a goat, uh, which means fan of it. Fuck a goat. Hey, uh, Steve, what did you say? Your birthday's next week? Yes, sir. That's also the day that my movie's going to be released. So. What do you mean? What, what, what movie? Saturday. Woo! What this movie is being released? This I is the trailer right here. 11, 11, 11. Immortals? 
and uh, Immortals, it's, Skyrim. It's, it's the movie that you made yourself. Yeah, this is a user-generated YouTube movie oh. from the uh, blizzard that happened in February. I had all the residents in Chicago send in their video footage uh, of their experience of the blizzard into me, and I made a movie out of that from everyone voting on the top five uh, videos that were submitted, and that's what's going to be released. Cool. On so go to youtube.com backslash I am Steven with a V, Vargas, V-A-R-G-A-S. And that's the trailer. Yes. Cool. All right, and yeah. someone that mentioned Yoko Domo, Yoko Shimoto is my movie, <laughs> youtube.com backslash section 10 films, you want to check out the trailer, the film will be online eventually, I'm still figuring out what the best place, you know the best strategy or place to put it, Amazon, I don't really want to put it on YouTube, but we'll see, I'm still working on that, but join us next week, Joe Frawley, we have great guests coming up, Joseph Lee, he's, he's Agent Santa, if you didn't know that, and uh, Cliff Roth is going to be a future guest, he just joined us now uh, at the tail end, we're just wrapping up Cliff. That he'll be a he'll be a future guest on conversations hangout conversation. All right, Matthew Rappaport, this conversations plus. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week with Joe Frawley. And thank you, everybody. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>